Hi everyone, I'm Andy Allen for Apply Short Can. Another home workout for you today. So again, this is for my, my martial arts 11 students who are taking my, my high school course at CPL High School in Bedford, Nova Scotia, Canada. And uh, they have some home training requirements for this. So this is a pre-recorded workout for them. All right, so today we're gonna to focus uh, a little bit on some body shifting and mostly on Maigiri and putting Maigiri and Oizuki into a combination, which would be part of the Kion syllabus for my 8th Q test in my curriculum. All right, we'll warm up first, jumping jacks. All right, keep your arms going, feet go front back. Regular jumping jacks. I think we did this last time. When your feet come together, we're gonna to face front. And when your hands and feet go apart, you're gonna face the side like this, together, apart, together, apart, like this. I'll give you a second to get synchronized. And we're gonna speed up. Four, three, two, one, and go. circle and reverse and reverse and reverse and twist your body let your shoulders relax let your arms flop around your body straight but lean to the side. Reach over and over and big circle. Reach down and up. Look at the ceiling. And the way. And bend your right knee. Long Zenku Tadashi. Lower your weight. Keep your spine straight. Don't lean forward. And switch to the side. And switch. Heel up. Reach for ceiling. And switch. Feet apart, feet 45 degrees. Push your knees apart with your elbows. A little small motion right and left. And a little more, further to the side. You let your toes come up, toes come up. A little deeper. Take some of your weight in your hand. Don't put all your weight on that bent knee. Push your knee out, get a stretch in your groin. See how my hand is on the floor, elbow is on the inside of my thigh. My heel is down, if you have the ankle flexibility for that. Toes here are up. And I have some of my weight on my hands to save my knees. And switch. And one more each side, switch. And switch. Going to do a lot of my Gary's today, front kicks. Feet apart. Elbows down. And up. Elbows down. And up. One more time. Down. A little further apart with your feet. And up. Walk up. 
Right, put your hands out in front of you. So your hands are about the weight, the, the, the height of your belt. We're going to do some high knees to your knee. I want it up so your thigh is about horizontal. These are not high knees. Okay? So our hands are right here. We slap, slap, slap like that. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Let's do 20 more each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's add some punches to that. So as I'm raising one knee, the other hand comes forward like this. Okay? Slowly a couple times, make sure you can get that coordinated. Right knee up, left hand punch. And then switch. But we'll do it quickly, just as we did with the knees only. All right, here we go. Keep those knees up. Twenty more each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep those knees up. And one more, good. Okay, heart should be going now. A little more stretching. Feet apart. Hands down. Elbows to the floor. And up. Turn to the side. And up, other side. And have a seat. Legs apart. Try not to arch your back and lean forward like that. Think of putting your belly button towards the floor or your, or your thighs. Don't worry about arching your back like that, okay? Straight forward. So some of you might be like this. Try to keep your knees straight. If your knees have a tendency to bend, that's an indication you have really tight hamstrings. This is actually good for that. But if you bend your knees like that, you're taking all the stretch out of them. So it won't work for you. Hand up. Let's go to your right. And up to your left. And up, and center. So if you're in my martial arts class, uh, what I want you to be doing for your, your journal entries is writing down everything that you did. So you can have a section on warm up, what you did, briefly describe it, what we did for our drills and so on. And again, other part of your, your matrix that we were doing, uh, filling out, you're looking at what you think you did well on in terms of uh, technical execution. And the last column in your, in your uh, template is uh, what you feel you're struggling with. Maybe it's a footwork, maybe it's you feel you're too slow, maybe it's your flexibility. All right, so right now we have our, our heels pulled to our groin, soles of feet together, little gentle bounce. Let's grab our ankles, use your elbows, push your knees down. Now take your, your use your groin muscles now, I'm gonna pull up against your elbows. We'll do that for a count of five. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. And relax, bounce. All right, so pull your knees down with your leg muscles as far as they'll go. Lock those legs in place, elbows here. Now pull up with your groin muscles. Your elbows, your arms are just a, an obstacle to, which will prevent your knees from raising. And bounce again. You might notice that each time you do this, you can get your knees down a little further, a little further each time. All right, over those knees, lock in place and pull up. Good. Knees to your chest, give them a hug, make yourself tiny. All right, let's rock back and forth.
Hands behind you, knees together, to your right, to your left, and alternate. For me, this helps loosen up my lower back, which tends to be very stiff. So my shoulders aren't moving. I got some rotation in my, my spine. Okay, let's do a technical stand up. One hand on the floor, other hand up for protection. So my right hand's on the floor, your right leg's on kick forward, and up. Back up we go. Okay, right arm across the chest. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch elbow up. And switch. And look left, right. Shoulder to shoulder. And half circle. Only half. Don't go all the way back. And turn your neck. Don't force it. Don't want to hear all kinds of rice crispies in your cervical spine. And bend over. Deep breath into your nose. Up in your toes. And down. Out through your nose. Into your nose. And out through your nose. One more time. Okay, if you have a gi on, let's fix that. <coughs> All right, let's get those knees warmed up. So I said uh, a lot of our time will be on uh, my Gary in a combination with my Gary. We'll also use some uh, some shifting in a basic Zen Kutsudashi. First, let's just review my Gary. So key points. Uh, the point of contact you're making is with the ball of your foot right here. Right? When you raise your knee, you want your foot horizontal. Don't have your foot in this position when you kick. Okay? Up. And then what I try to do is maintain that horizontal position of my foot as I execute the kick. So not like this, toes down, toes up, and then I extend my ankle as I go out. Okay. Let's just uh, kick on the spot first. I'll show you a side view. So put your feet together, bend your knees, and your hands up. Okay, kick, so first raise your knee, okay? And then what uh, you should feel is your hips going forward a little bit to help thrust that kick into the toes. All right, don't have your hips go back, don't have your shoulders go back, your head, shoulders kind of stay where they are, and your, your hips go forward, okay? With your left leg first, each, knee, sun, chi, Go, rook, sitch, hutch, hu, ju. All right, good. Feet together, rotate, big circle with your knees, and reverse. Okay, we did this exercise last week in our live training session. Feet shoulder width ish apart, apart. Hands up. You're going to Squat down, bend your knees so your thighs are horizontal. On the way up, kick, back down, up, kick, okay? We'll go slowly first, you try to keep pace. Ready? Itch, down, up, kick, knee. Sun. Chi, no cheating. Go, down nice and low. Rook. Sitch, not like this. Hutch. Bend your knees. Hu. And you a little faster. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Hu. Ju. Alright, shake those legs out. Grab one ankle. Keep your knees together 
And I want you to tilt your pelvis this way. You should feel a stretch in your quad muscle. All right, hold that position. And switch. Put that pelvis forward. If you don't tilt forward, you get no stretch in your quad. There's four parts of your quad muscles. That's why they're called the quadriceps. One part called your rectus femoris crosses two joints, your knee and your hip. So if you do this to your hip, it stretches that particular muscle. Which is why you don't feel it stretch the same way if you have this angle in your hip joint. Okay, get those legs up. 10 more squat kicks. Don't forget in your journal, martial arts 11 students, you're writing about the squat kicks and how much you love them. All right, hands up, ready? Itch, knee, try to keep pace. Sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, hu, ju. You thought we were stopping? 10 more. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, hu. Another 10, ju, itch, knee, Sun. Oh, I'm slowing down. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Hu. Amar Ju. Good. Shake those legs. You should be feeling that burn in your quads. All right, deep breath. This is your rest. One more. Okay. <coughs> A little bit of footwork, Thai Sabaki. Thai Sabaki basically means body shifting. So changing and positioning your body from A to B. Okay, I'll show you a side view first. Why don't you put your front view. Right leg forward. So you're in Zenkutsu Dashi. Front stance. Keep your same height. Don't rise up. Feet together. Other leg forward. So it's going to be easier for you to keep up, I think, if you make me your mirror image. So now if this is my right leg. You make sure you have your left leg forward. Same height. Together. And return. Together. Return. Keep your guard up. Return. Together. Return. Together. Return. Together. Same height. If your knees are straight right now, that means your rows up. Same height. Efficiency of movement. Right knee is bent. Side view. So right now your right leg is forward. Together. And forward. Together. When you go, reach your foot in front of you, not heel toe. Glide the ball of your foot along the floor. All right now you have your right leg forward. Together, forward. Together, forward. Together, forward. Together, forward. One count, together and step. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ju, ju. All right, relax. I'm hoping your thighs are burning right now. If they are, you've been working hard. Things are gonna get worse though here. Okay, same footwork. This time when we step forward, we're gonna throw in a, a my gear, a front kick. So put your right leg forward, hands up, together. So this, Foot didn't move. This is my kicking leg. Kick and then step. The same motion we did, but as you step forward, you're kicking as you get into your Zenku Tadashi. Alright, so start here. Your left leg is forward now. Together. Right leg kicks. My gear. Together and kicks. Keep same height. Don't rise up. One. Two. Use your hips. So when you Bring your feet together. Your front knee is nicely bent right now. So use that leg, extend your knee, and shift your weight 
which right now is mostly my front leg, shift the weight to the back. See how my back leg, my back knee bent as this knee extends. Right? Extension, flexion, straightening, bending. This is your break. Right? Shift your weight from front to back. Raise your knee, hips go forward, kick, flip forward. See, I'll keep you looking at a side view. So your right leg is forward now. Two counts. One, left leg kicks. Knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, left leg kicks. Left leg forward. Itch, knee, itch, knee. Okay, shake out your legs. Do it fast a few times. Then we're going to add a punch to it. And then we're going to get into a simple kick punch combination that is part of our yellow belt test. Uh, my Gary Oisey. For those of you uh, uh, watching that aren't in my dojo, usually the key I'm going to do is non traditional. This stuff we've done so far is pretty basic. Uh, but there's a video I have on functional Keon for beginners. I will link that at the end of the video. Have a look at that. It's my, my take on how to make Keon functional with, uh, uh, so it's, we're developing, developing transferable skills for other par partner work or impact work, something like that. Okay, right leg forward. So we're, we're in a, a traditional basic front stance right now. Okay, one count, shift and kick. Okay, right leg is forward. We're a little faster now. Itch, knee. So your hips, as you shift your weight to your back foot, your hips are going to turn. Thanks right? to that turn, my belly button, my knot on my belt is pointing this way. As I turn, it kind of squares up, and then I tilt to make my kick. Ready? Okay. Right leg is forward, one count, one motion. Hitch, knee. I'll slow my count down a little bit, make sure everyone can keep up. Remember, other people watching this is for my white belts. Sun, Chi, Go, Rook, Fitch, Hutch, Chu, Chu. Okay. Relax. <clears throat> We're going to add a uh, punch. Same body shaking combination. So look what we've done so far. We did the Taisa Bucky, the body shifting with no punching, no kicks. Then we built on that where we're using a, a front kick. Now we're going to do a, a kick Oizuki which is something we're going to use in the next drill. The same thing, different footwork. Okay, right leg forward. Slowly first. Right leg, chest back. Together. Left leg is kicking. And before this comes down, can't retract, I want you to punch just before your foot lands on the floor. Okay, so if I were to do it slowly, it looks like this. Shift, kick, punch, and then land. Right, start right leg forward. Right leg forward, ready? Slowly together, kick, punch. And I mentioned earlier for those watching outside of my dojo, outside of my martial arts class, 11 class, we're not using Hikate when we punch. Okay? We're going to keep our guard up. Again, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The idea in here is to hit as uh, my, my body mass is moving forward. If I kick, stop, and punch, I've lost all that momentum. Ready? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. A little rest. Still slow, let's uh, make it fluid. Shift, kick, punch. Right leg forward. Ready, one, kick, punch. Two, kick, punch. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more slow, nine, and ten. Okay, relax. We're gonna go ten more fast, and then we'll go into our last drill for the day. Deep breath. All right, right leg forward, right? Same thing, make speed. I will uh, delay my count just to make sure white belts can keep up. All right, a little faster. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Switch. Hutch. Two, two, high, good, and we come in, relax. All right, little stretch. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna go into a combination now which is very similar to that. Instead of the shifting back and forward, we're just going to step forward. We're going to do this from a, a kumite dashi, which is a fighting stance, natural stance. So instead of your, your long, deep shorthand stance, we're going to make things more mobile now. Okay? Don't have your knees bent. Don't have the weight on your heels like when you're doing kata. You should have a, a feeling that you can move. Right? Weights on the ball of your feet. Okay, so from the side view and you probably don't have enough, time, uh, enough room at home to move several steps forward and back. So I'll just do two, shuffle back, two, shuffle back like that. Uh, if you only have room for one step, you'll have to shuffle back with each count. Okay, so for side view, just watch first. Looks like this. Our hands are up. So I mentioned earlier my video on functional kion. So when I have student session for the yellow belt, this is one of the kion steps they do. And we're doing it for a purpose, not just for the development of body movement, but uh, we, we put the pads just later. And you can see that in the, the video I'll link at the end. Okay, so slowly keep the guard up, and you're gonna punch from here. Don't punch from here, right? So we kick and we punch as our mass is moving forward. Now, just to clarify, it is possible for your, your foot to touch the floor and my mass is still moving forward from punch, that's okay. But what I don't want to see is kick, put the brakes on, then punch. You've lost all your momentum anyway, okay? And besides that, if you're actually doing that combination on a real person, uh, there's too much time between kick punch. I want to hit, hit in quick succession, okay? One more, slowly watch first, kick, punch. Okay, I'm gonna face you now, Just put your right leg forward, all right, hands up, slowly first. One count is, let's break it down, two counts. One count is a kick, keep your knee up, all right? And then as I move my mass forward, it's punch and land. Okay, shuffle back if you need to. Kick and punch land. Kick and punch land, okay? Let's do it slowly again, one count, punch and kick. I'm going to go two movements forward, and then I'll shuffle back. Right leg is forward. Itch. Knee. Back you go. So I'm going right and left because I'm counting two counts. If you don't have room for two steps forward, I want you to alternate each time. Itch. Knee. And back. Itch. Knee. Don't forget when you're making your kick, I want you to drive your hips forward, but don't kick and throw your shoulders backwards, your way out of balance. Still, nice and slow, good technique. Hands up, as you kick, here's a common mistake. As you kick, don't put your hands back like this. Right, your face is wide open. Try to keep, there is a tendency for your hands to come back. It actually helps your hips go forward. 
to try to resist dropping the hands anyway. Ready, itch, knee, and return. Itch, knee, return. Itch, knee, return. Okay, hopefully we're getting it now. Let's go a little faster. Hand counts. Let's speed up. Ready? Why you waiting for the count? Don't be flat footed. I want to see. Don't bounce and hop like this, but be light. Light on your feet. Tuck your chin a little bit instead of your posture like when you're doing kata. I want your chin here. Your shoulders, you can bring them here. Not this, okay? But just a little tuck of your chin, small raise your shoulders. That's a good fighting posture. When we practice our, our kata, it's not meant to teach us how to fight those formal postures. Okay? Tuck your chin ready, go a little faster. On the count, itch, knee, and back. Remember, if you can only have, have enough room for one step, I want you to go chill back. Other side for your second count. I'll get some pauses. Ready? Itch. Knee. And again. 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 Okay. Five more counts of twos. Speed. There we go. Ready? Fast you can go. Hitch. Knee. Hi. And back. Ready? Hitch. Knee. Hi. And back. That's two. Three more. Hitch. Knee. And back. Your legs may feel like jello from earlier in our workout, all those squat kicks. Ready, itch, knee. Let's do one more. Itch, knee, hi. Good, and relax. Okay, a little cool down, a stretch. In your knees. Shift left and right. And toes up. And switch. And switch. And switch. And up. All right, one last thing for a cool down. We're going to do our, our close quarters or confined space kata. So we did this last week. I had a video. I will link that over on the side of the screen as well. We're gonna go nice and slow, no speed, no kime, no power. Between each movement, so between here and here, I want you to breathe in through your nose, and then at the end of the technique, out through your mouth. So movement number one of Hien Shodan is going to look like this. In through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? Kind of like a Tai Chi feel, no tension, no speed, relaxation. Deep, exaggerated breath into the nose, out the muscle. Okay, I'm gonna turn around this way. So again, we're using our modified footwork so we can do this in a confined space. I'll face away from you, maybe it's easier to learn that way. Right? And turn around. Go ahead. Ready, slowly, itch. Knee, into the nose. Sun, in through nose, out through mouth. Chi, in through nose, out through mouth. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Gu. Big turn, two, itch, knee, sun, chi, 
Go. Rook. No tension. Sitch. Big turn. Hutch. Shoot. Shoot. Reach. Damn it. And relax. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. And again, if you are just uh, uh, out there in the world community following along, thanks for tuning in. Martial Arts 11 students, don't forget in your journal entry, you need to uh, have a detailed account of what we did during, during this workout. List it all, bolt, bolt form is fine. In the other columns, you're gonna list what you did well with and what you struggled with. One more thing, I have a, a blog I'm about to release. Uh, you might see it by the time this video is released. It's on uh, functional Kion. So it's called Kion is a tool, not a goal. Right, make sure you tune into that. Thanks for watching. I'm Andy Alfred. Bye.